This is Andrew, and welcome back to another episode of Madman Review. Today we'll be taking a jab at some silly accessories for the AR-15. Let's face it, the AR-15 platform is known for its customization options. There are many exciting accessories out there, but Newton's third law dictates that there must also be as many terrible accessories in the market. And we'll look at some of them today. So, what are my criteria? It must be seriously advertised as an accessory for AR-15s. It needs to be inefficient, dangerous, and pretty much useless. Unfortunately, there will be no links to these products in the description this time because you should not waste your money on these things. So with that out of the way, let's have a laugh, shall we? The Red Dot Magnifier. The truth is that whoever bought this also bought a wrong site. You're better off getting a magnified optic with variable zoom levels if you want to change the magnification level on the fly. The magnifier is a bad idea for a number of reasons. For one, it does not work as well as a real magnified optic. Also, it's extra weight and looks clunky. You'll get all the wrong kinds of attention if you bring a red dot magnifier with you to the gun range. Multi-tool. Some manufacturers thought that it would be a good idea to slap a Swiss Army knife in the grip. Yes, there's a hole there, but that does not mean it makes sense to stuff things inside it. It's extra weight, and you're not going to need a screwdriver in a firefight. If you need a Swiss Army knife, get one and store it separately. Bayonet. Bayonets are pretty cool. Not so cool when your platoon leader shouts, affix bayonets, and you know what you're charging a machine gun nest, or going up and over the trench in the First World War. Other than that, there's just that visceral fun with bayonets and anyone with a bayo lug would slap a bayonet on at least once just for fun. Most bayonets are mounted on the underside of the barrel, though some are mounted on the side. So what's wrong with a bayonet? It's a tube that's mounted to your rail system with an out-the-front design. Think of it as an automatic knife. The tube is about 14 inches long, so here goes all your rail space for any other accessories. The spring-loaded spike will shank your target at close range. The problem here is that if you have a long tube or your AR-15, you might as well get an underbarrel grenade launcher. Moreover, OTF knives are not that strong, and if you want to skewer something or someone, you need a fixed blade that is much more durable. Moreover, bayonets should be easy to slap onto your gun. It takes a couple of seconds to mount a bayonet to your gun. Bayonet is attached to a rail, and you need an Allen key to remove it, which is just another hassle. Also, bayonets are more than just to skewer people. You can use it as a knife, and a valuable survival tool. You can't do that with the bayonet. The AR-15 Grip Armor Some accessories make the gun look a little cooler, and some movies attempted to bring some coolness to the screen. That's fine and dandy, but to sell one as a serious accessory is just silly. Their idea is that you would have the same index point whenever you index your hands backward. It does keep your hands off the magazine well, but it does not really matter if your grip is that far behind anyway. The grip replaces your AR-15's pistol grip and is absolutely massive and pointless. Browning Rail Security Knife Many classic companies license their brand name out and collect royalties. Franchising, as they call it. This knife is basically a knife in a kydex sheath that you can mount to your AR-15. Now you can quickly whip out your knife in a flash, right? Well... Not exactly. Personally, I would rather shoot than shank, even if the target is one foot away. Also, what's so bad about carrying a knife on your belt or in your pocket? The Grip Shot. This is a mount that lets you slap on a Serpa or Safari Land holster to your Picatinny rail. Their idea is probably that you can have fast access to your sidearm since it's strapped to your foregrip. Whipping out your gun with your belt should only take a fraction of a second longer than from your foregrip anyway, which does not make that much of a difference. Also, the bad guy can slap the barrel of your AR-15 down and grab the extra pistol you have within arm's reach. And suddenly, you're in trouble. That's to say nothing about throwing off the balance of your rifle. Mako AR-15 Mag Foregrip Having some extra ammo on your gun is always handy, whether it's in the form of an extended magazine, a side saddle to house extra shells for your shotgun, or coupled magazines for a quick reload. You want the gun to keep firing, and having to stop and reload can be the difference between life and death. So what does Mako bring to the store here? You get the same extra magazine capability, but it's placed on the vertical grip. Having extra ammo makes sense, but putting it on the foregrip does not. It's not faster than a coupled magazine, and not as comfortable as a normal foregrip. 
Putting a magazine on the front also makes the weapon front heavy and tiresome to hold for a long time as well. Mule stock. The mule stock replaces your modular stock, the one with adjustable length of pull, cheek weld, shoulder support, and other features that come with a good stock, and replaces it with a massive storage compartment for a compact Glock. The only good thing I can say about this is that at least the gun looks secure in there, but I believe this has very limited utility. The entire thing relies on an unreliable hinge system. Also, what is so wrong with carrying a holster on your body anyway? If anything, a holster in the stock is even harder to use than the one strapped to your calves. F4 Tactical Pepper Spray To help you understand why this is a bad idea, we need to look at shotguns. Some of them have bright orange furniture so that you know you are meant to be used with non-lethal munitions and not be loaded with real buckshot. You can tell at a glance which shotgun is for what purposes. What you have two shotguns for lethal and non-lethal purposes and a way to discern between the two, you can prevent accidents. So how does this tactical pepper spray fit into this? It's a non-lethal item but it's mounted to a rail system, specifically on the underside of an AR-15's barrel, which is a lethal weapon. Yeah, I can see how this can turn into a happy little accident here. It would work if you can mount it on one of those orange shotguns, but this one is mounted to an AR-15. You need to be very close to your target to use that thing, and you need to point the gun straight at them. I don't know about you, but I don't think you would need the pepper spray to deter attackers if you already have a gun up and ready to shoot. And if your life is threatened, you don't need the pepper spray either. You just pull the trigger. Angel Eye Rear View Mirror In a high threat environment, you need to have eyes at the back of your head. You never know when an enemy would pop up behind you and snap your neck or shank you in the kidney. For this, the Angel Eye Mirror got you covered. At least that's what I think how the sales pitch went. This pop-out mirror is attached to a rail and lets you see what's going on behind you. And you can also check yourself out before bouts of shooting and clearing rooms. This mirror costs about $100. Luckily, humans have a neck that can pivot and then let them look behind them. The point is that if you're in a high-threat environment, you would not get yourself in a situation where someone would pop up behind you unless you're not clearing rooms properly. Also, in such an environment, you would have someone else with you. A battle buddy who can watch your back. In other words, the mirror has no practical uses. And there you have it, folks. Other than buying it for your buddy for a laugh... I do not see practical use for these accessories. It also pains me to say that there are many more of these out there, and the fact that these companies have not yet gone bankrupt means that someone's buying them. Use common sense, steer clear from these accessories. If you enjoyed this video, consider giving us a like and subscribe to our channel for more content like this. Also, make sure to hit that bell icon so you do not miss out when a new episode is aired. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again in the next episode.